QuickBooks Online 2022 OneNote presentation, Preferences, Account, and Settings. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2022. If you have access to OneNote, we'd like to follow along. Icon, left-hand side, topic, introduction, 1018, preferences, account, and settings. Also, take a look at the immersive reader tool, topic, introductions, in the text area, too, with the same name, same number, but with transcripts. Transcripts that can be translated into multiple languages, either listened to or read in them. Same name and numbers, presentations as well. The topic introduction is designed to give an introduction to the topic for provide screenshots and links where applicable. Give accounting background to complement the presentations and can be used to follow along with them if you don't have access to the software at that time. Closing the icon on the left hand side, we're looking at the preferences which can generally be found in the icon up to the right as opposed to entering the day-to-day -day types of transactions which is typically found in the new item on the left hand side or in the centers or tabs on the left hand side. We're going to get into each of these preferences in a lot more detail in the second half of the course because the first half of the course we're practicing the navigation and the preferences and some of those underlying foundational types of things are the things that will typically be done when you create a new company file. If you go into the cog up top, we've got your account lists and tools. These are the types of information that are going to be the foundational information on which financial transactions will then be entered. We can then look at the account and settings, which are some of the general settings will be in place as compared to if we go over to the new tab, these are the customer cycle, vendor cycle, employee cycle, all the forms that we will then use once the items for the preferences, settings, and lists, and so on are set up. We have the account and settings tab. If we were to go into it and just look over it in overview, we've got these items on the left-hand side, company, usage, sales, expenses, time, and advanced tabs. Company information is up top. The usage information gives you some idea of the usage terms. These are some of the ways that QuickBooks will rate their billing system and when you might need to go to an advanced uh, version of QuickBooks. We've got the sales area giving preferences related to the sales cycle or customer cycle expenses given some information related to the expenses cycle, bill cycle, purchases cycle, or vendor cycle, time information for the time settings, and then we have the advanced accounting information, which has some other general accounting information. We will go into these in much more detail in the second half of the course or in the course where we set up a new company file from scratch, from nothing, from the beginning.